Hey everyone, this is Terry. Welcome back. I actually today was going to introduce you to another motorcycle in the tribe of motorcycles in my garage. Then I came across something that I wanted to share. A few years ago, I had a very intense relationship that I had to choose to end. I wanted to share it with you. But first, let me go make some coffee and then we'll get to the story. I love these mugs, William Sonoma. They're double insulated. Ugh. When I decided to end this relationship, it had it had been a very intense, very emotional relationship. And I'm not gonna go into that right now, but I'm gonna tell you my feelings. As I read them today, it really rekindled everything I went through. And I think some of you might be able to relate. I saw her sitting in the garage, drenched from the cold Oregon rain. My heart felt heavy and I began to cry. Our 17 month relationship was initiated through tragedy. And at the time, I decided to end it. It was for my own self-preservation. For a while, it was comforting being with her every day knowing how loved she had been and how loved she would be with me. She carried a beauty, a sensuality, like none that I've ever seen. She had an air about her that screamed aristocracy, cultivated and well-bred. She was sleek, mysterious, and sensual. I tell you, she she was a real head turner. There was never a time that I wasn't proud to be with her and to be seen with her. She became my world. An attachment to a previous life that we had both shared. In our loss, we comforted one another. What I didn't count on in this relationship were the trying times that we would experience. There were times during those 17 months I couldn't bring myself to lay eyes upon her. With no intention of her own, she brought back memories of a very dark time. They were memories that I had tried to keep buried, only allowing them out when the time was right. And the time wasn't always right. Our relationship intensified as the months went on. Each time I glanced at her, I had very complex emotions. But as hard as it was, there was no denying the attraction and the love I had. Our relationship intensified as the months went on. There were complex emotions that swirled about each and every time I touched her or laid my hands upon her. It became increasingly more difficult to be with her, to be seen with her, to be a part of her. As hard as it was for me to make this decision, the time had come to let her go to set her free. The relationship we had had just become too difficult for me to continue. And as heartbreaking as it was, I had to make the decision to call it quits. The time had come for her to move along to someone that could enjoy her fully in ways that I was unable to. For someone to love her more completely than I was able to. See, with this relationship came shackles. They couldn't be broken. They were etched into the relationship at the very beginning. And they had become too heavy 
and too tight for me to continue. I went to take her and drop her off at a prearranged destination. Everything was so perfect on the way to where we were going, to where we would say goodbye. I knew she was trying to get me to change my mind, but I couldn't do it. I just, I couldn't do it any longer. The burden had grown to be much too heavy to bear. She had to go. The time had come. When we arrived at our destination, we were separated. I remember looking through the glass partition and I watched as a man touched her, stroked her, and dried the tears from her eyes with a soft cloth. My heart was breaking. I watched him wipe every trace of moisture from each curve of her beautiful body. I sat there and I felt heavy. I couldn't breathe. Saying goodbye was one of the hardest things I've ever done. But as I watched the man with her, and she sat in silence, I knew I had to say goodbye one more time. I couldn't just leave. I had to tell her goodbye face to face. I slowly opened the heavy glass door that had been separating us. She was quiet and motionless. My heart raced as I approached her. With each step I took toward her, I think I appreciated her beauty more than I ever had. With each forward step, my breathing became more labored. My heart began to pound. I kept going. I don't know how I didn't have the energy to do what I was doing, and I don't know how I had the energy to, to keep moving forward. I needed to touch her. I needed to feel her one more time. Then I was right upon her in the magnificent aura of her personality and her glorious, exquisite beauty. It was almost more than I could take because I knew this would be fine. I put my arm out. I touched her head with my hand and I kissed it and I kissed her again. She was about to impart on a new journey away from me. My heart was bleeding, it was breaking, but it had to be done. I kissed her goodbye. She was cold on my lips, cold on my hands. Tears were running from my eyes. And I knew I had to turn and leave before I lost my courage. I looked at her one more time, and I turned and walked out, never looking back. I reached in my pocket to grab a handkerchief to muffle my sobs, and I walked out. That was the end of our relationship. It began in tragedy, and it ended in tragedy. With emotion that I couldn't, I couldn't handle anymore, I had to let it go. I had to set her free. I had to set myself free. A relationship was meant to be for a short time, but only a short time. I guess all good things have to come to an end. Her name was Kitty, and here's her picture. I hope you enjoyed my story of my unconventional love affair. It began with the death of my mother. My father could not bear selling Kitty. And he couldn't have her sitting in his garage. Because each time he looked at her, he broke down as I did. The last time I saw her, 
and knew I'd never see her again. I ended up purchasing my father's heartache. I had to refinance my house to do so. But I purchased my father's heartache and took it on as my own. I could feel my mom beside me when I was flying down the highway in her. She was like riding a quarter horse that you knew wanted to be unleashed, unreined, to run free. Every time I would open the glove compartment or the trunk, I saw my mother's engraved name. And although Kitty meant the world to me, had to let her go. It had just been too difficult to bear. With that, I'm going to thank you for listening. It made me emotional just thinking about her. But there's one thing for certain. She will always know how much I loved her. And how much she meant to me.